<laughs> I stepped directly in Branston's water bowl. Yep. Knocked it over, went so I've got everywhere. a soggy foot. It went everywhere. So the van is all packed and ready to go and me and Michelle are going for a pub stopover and we've got a little clue for you to see if you can figure out where we're going. Does, without the pom-pom. Without the pom-pom, does the hat give it away? Don't know, put in the comment section below and see what you think. Um, so yeah, we got to drop Olivia off first and I managed to convince Michelle to come away in the van without electric hookup and all the other amenities. And uh, let's see how that goes. She has insisted that we bring the duvet cover from the bed though. Yeah. Because you get cold at night, don't you? Yes, and hot water bottles and blankets and my hat and my scarf and my gloves. And, and I need a nose warmer. <laughs> So that's Olivia dropped off and we are now child free. Woohoo! Party time! <laughs> <laughs> um, we are en route to home first. If, well done if, for those of you who had guessed that, if you guessed it earlier. Um, we're going to home first, it's about 50 minutes from where we are at the moment and in typical Colin fashion, it's raining. <laughs> So we have arrived at the Huntsman Inn in Homeforth. You can park here as long as you eat and drink in the uh, pub itself. Uh, we're booked in tonight for about half past six and the plan was to go for a walk into Homeforth and come back again and then eat and everything, be lovely. However, it is raining. We haven't figured out yet whether we're just going to get our waterproofs on, walk down or just drive down. However, we have got a biblical spot. We're actually on the last parking spot in the car park which means when we open the door there's no car can park at the other side of us so it means that when we open it we've got the views and everything and it's beautiful the views are gorgeous michelle has spoken what we're going to do is sacrifice maybe losing this spot uh to drive down into home it does make sense to be fair it's absolutely bucketing it down i think this spot should still be here and the reason i'm thinking that is because it's the furthest away from the pub and most people are inherently a bit lazy i know i am and i will try and park as near to the uh, entrance of a pub or a shopping place or anything like that as i possibly can so so i think we'll be all right here and worst case scenario we can go onto the gravel bit if we wanted to open door and have no cars parked next to us can't we yeah. so yeah happy days We're in Bridge Lane Car Park, which is just opposite the co-op. Uh, for anybody who wants to come this way, it would have been a very, very wet walk by the time we got here. It's about two and a half miles, uh, which would probably take about an hour. And an hour in this wet rain, I know, gets you very, very wet. <laughs> car app, parking sorted. The app was an app we already had on the phone, so that nice. reduced the stress. Of what was the app? Ringo. Ringo. So yeah, um, although you get full 4G here, so you will be able to download it, should you need to. Yes. Yes. But then you do have to give them your shoe size and your bra size and your everything else size. Yeah, colour your curtains. In order to set the app up, which is never ideal. Yeah. <laughs> right, I literally just said to Michelle, Oh, I haven't got any poo bags on me. Just at the moment that Branston decided he wanted to uh, Elsa and Anna it, let it go. But fortunately, uh, Michelle's got some poo bags. I'm not going to show you what he's left. It's not good content. <laughs> so right behind me, just there, lovely jubbly is the cafe from off of Last of the Summer Wine. We're just on a bit of a Last of the Summer Wine tour at the moment. 
<sighs> Whatever makes her happy, eh? You happy? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Awesome. That, honestly, that is just because they've left it so similar to how it was in the yeah. show. It's just awesome. Exactly the same, isn't I it? I want to go in for a cup of tea, but I want to find Nora Batty's house first. Nora Batty's house next. Yeah. Right. So we're trying to find Nora Batty's house and Michelle's doing navigatings again. Those who are familiar with the videos on the channel will understand that this ain't going to end well. <laughs> Have you found it? That's Nelly's cottage, it says. It better be up here, there's a big hill is this bad boy, look. Oh. <laughs> Update, we're going back down the hill. <laughs> so if uh, Michelle ever offers like a Yorkshire Pop Top Adventures orienteering experience, uh, don't do it. <laughs> Right, so we resorted to asking a lovely gentleman, a local, was more than happy to point out Nora Vati's house for us. We were in the completely wrong area, yeah. funnily enough, your directions. Uh, <laughs> and it's now called the Wrinkled Stocking Tea Room. So let's go have a look at Nora Vati's house. Right then, so there it is, Nora Vati's house, looking lush and nice. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this and also film and do stuff. Uh, and then there's Comfort's house underneath. Nice and spicy, ah, this is ace. This is making Michelle just said, this is making me so happy. It is. <laughs> it's like a trip down my lane. So I think what we're gonna do now is have a quick wander around home first, look in a couple of shops and then have a tea at uh, uh Ivy's Ivy's, Ivy's cafe. cafe, is it called? Which is now Sid's Cafe. Sid's Cafe, oh. yeah. Awesome. See you bye. Oh, this is the last of the Summer Wine Shop exhibition. Yeah. Nice and spicy eye. Does that mean I have to stand outside it rain with dog? Yes. So I was gonna show you inside that shop, um, but it shuts at half two and uh, it's half two. <laughs> I can smell a pub. <laughs> it amazes me in the UK that we have so much rain, yet very little stores that sell umbrellas. <laughs> I just need a big umbrella, because at the moment this one's dripping down my back uh, and it's not keeping me very dry. I mean, it's protecting the quiff, so it's got an important role to do. However, when I'm vlogging, I have to be like that and it's not right. But yeah, you would have thought every single shop would have sold an umbrella and they make a fortune. So Michelle's navigation skills couldn't even find her way back to the place we'd already been. <laughs> so now we're going to try and get in Sid's cafe if it's uh, dog friendly, we'll let you know. Right, so sadly we can't go in because uh, it's just assistance guide dogs only. Dogs are allowed to sit outside, uh, but obviously the weather's not playing ball. So uh, we decided that what we're going to do is just go to the pub. Nice. So that was a lovely pub, I highly recommend that. Um, apart from, I, ste <laughs> I stepped directly in Branston's water bowl. Yep. Knocked it over, it so I've got a soggy everywhere. foot, it went everywhere. <laughs> and it made a really loud noise, and yeah. stopped. <laughs> Everyone looked, it's got really busy in there, so we thought it's probably best that we leave. Uh, so then we can go back up to the Huntsman and um, have some dinner. We booked in at what, half six? Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Did you bring your opener? Oh, genius. Awesome. Oh, yay. Yay. Cheers. Cheers. Right, so that's the bed set up, ready to go. All done and dusted. Now I'm heading towards the pub. Michelle's already in there, because she said, I'm going to go get a pint while you set the bed up. So yeah, I forgot we had a dog, so I need to go back and get him. <laughs> Like we spoke to pretty much everybody in the pub, yeah, which is lovely. Met some other guys who were also staying in the car park in a van just next to us, yeah, which is lovely. Uh, had some really good chats with those, and then obviously bumping into your brother, yes, which is just yeah. unheard of. Very you don't see him very often, do you? No. And stuff like that. It was really lovely to do some catching up and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, but now we're going to go to bed. We've decided we're going to get up, have breakfast here tomorrow, and then. Um, Go for a walk, and your brother's coming for the walk as well, isn't he? So uh, he'll get used to the old YouTube miles thing. Yes. Let's see how we uh, cope through that one. <laughs> right, guys, see you in the morning. Take care. See you. Bye. Good morning. Well, 
that was a nice sleep. Uh, really comfortable and warm sleep as well because we had the massive duvet on, uh, which was really nice. And uh, it's about quarter past eight, and we're going to go in and have some breakfast because uh, this isn't the normal wild camp where oh, I make is, breakfast. This is wild camping. This isn't wild camping. Is wild camping. This isn't wild camping. This is wild camping Michelle style. You sleep in the van, but you do everything else in the pub. <laughs> Yeah, we wouldn't normally do this. We'd normally have breakfast in the van, um, usually eat dinner in the van, but because it's Michelle's birthday, then yeah, we've decided that it's a bit special, so we'll eat in a pub and also have breakfast in a pub just to save cooking and things like that in the van. So yeah, later on, once we've had breakfast, we're gonna go for a walk, take you guys with us, and it's looking like a beautiful day, so it should be nice. <laughs> Right, so this walk uh, it's definitely a bit gnarly um, at certain parts uh, obviously it's a little bit more treacherous at the moment because it was raining yesterday which means that the the sheep poo and the mud is a little bit uh, slipsville tennessee but we're getting closer to the reservoir it doesn't go directly down to it you're sort of walking away from it coming back on yourself which is fine and lovely uh, but yeah what a beautiful day for it uh, all the sheeps are out and i think that the uh, the man needs to do his yorkshire stone walls Unless we're on the Lancashire side, that could be a Lancashire thing. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, but his walls are a little bit uh, like Mumra's teeth. This is called Bilberry Reservoir. And I didn't just read that from a sign that I've just walked past. And there it is in all its beautiful glory. Nice. Before the internet kicks off there was a sign that says it was called Bilbury Reservoir just over that way but then when we got to this side it says it was called Digley Reservoir so either or that's the name of the one that's the thing <laughs> so there's another car park called Digley car park it's the Digley quarry car park just here so you can park here and walk down to the quarry so behind me here is the quarry it's not massive that's what she said <laughs> but uh, but yeah obviously it's been disused for a long time that's lovely, it tells you to keep away from that edge because I'm guessing it's all crumbly and stuff but yeah it's nice, nice little feature to come across on the way around look at that for a view it's proper nice that isn't it oh almost back at the top again and then a short walk back to the pub so that is the walk done and we are now back at the pub and I think it's time for a beer um, and just something, just a nice something before we go back. So we come back down to Homefirth, Homefirth, and uh, we're gonna have a look around now without it raining. Oh, it feels like a different place, doesn't it? Yep. It really, really does. Uh, it's been lovely to meet up with your brother oh. and yep. go walkings and stuff like that, but now it's time to do a bit more walkings around the center, look in some shops. Yay, shopping! No, <laughs> you're not buying anything. No, thank you. But first, nature calls, I need a wee. So I'm going to try and find a toilet establishment. Lovely. Okay, see you, bye. Bye. So Michelle's gone into a shop which means I have to stand outside with Branston, bored. I got myself a full-size egg custard, don't judge me, and I'm eating it all. <laughs>
So my thoughts on Humforth are, if you want to go for a coffee, eat cake, have beer, and get your hair cut, this is the place to come. Uh, there are a few little gift shops, which are nice, uh, but yeah, it's mainly cafes and pubs. <laughs> if you like that sort of thing, then brilliant. Uh, and there is a co-op just there, and takeaways and stuff. So yeah, eating and drinking is the order of the day in Homeforth. Uh, but now we're on our way back now. We're gonna go back to the van, aren't we? Head off home. Well, pick Olivia up on the way. Yeah, we better remember Olivia. We better remember our daughter, yeah. And uh, we shall see you guys on the next adventure. Take care, see you, bye. bye. Why is that so close now? Can you just leave it to me? This is my version of it, okay, Les Dawson style. You Thank got you. Three, you got people to guess. That's the just right. Let me play it. Oh, it's really bright out here. <laughs> Stop moving because it makes my camera wobble. <laughs> Beat stuff, and it means that you can reuse it, wrap your sandwiches in it, um, and then you're not wasting the planet. So, yeah, cool tip, nice. Might not put that in. <laughs> I mean, what more could you ask for? A view, a van, and a pub? Oh, yeah, Michelle. <laughs> it's time to make a decision. What do you want to do, Shell? I want to do anything that will preserve the curls in my hair. Then maybe not. But should we just go sit in pub and get <laughs> wasted? <laughs> The problem with Michelle having her hood up is she can't hear me. <laughs> what are we filming? You are eating. Why? No. <laughs> no way. Hold on. It'll be so shaken up now it'll go. Ever. Oh no, he's got out the top colour. That's what she said. <laughs> no, you're doing a really good job. Awesome. Oh, yeah. hey. <laughs> Manchester Pale Ale. Let's not everybody think that I'm all about Yorkshire. It's nice. Mm. No, I'm gonna get it snuggly. It's nice. <laughs> oh, fell. He's on my bag, sat on the chair, and he's supposed to be down there. It was a massive dog, it did a massive wee as well. So, my thoughts on. So, my thoughts on Humforth.